Hey guys, it's Vanessa with the Data Savvy TV. So I'm here at the W3 Schools SQL homepage, and I'm about to take the SQL quiz test. It's a 25 question test, and I kind of want to challenge myself to see how quickly I can get through the quiz. I've taken it before, but it's been a few months. So here we go the test. Okay, just kidding. Here we go. <laughs> Structure. What does SQL stand for? Structured query language. Which SQL statement is used to extract data from a database? Select. Which SQL statement is used to update data in a database? Update. Reading these out loud, it's kind of hard. Which SQL statement is used to delete data from a database? Delete. Which SQL statement is used to insert new data into a database? Insert into. They kind of give it away a little bit in the question. If you want to select a column named first name from a table person, then you want to select first name from the person's table. Which SQL is select all the columns from person? Select star is like doing a select all. Okay. With SQL, how do you select all the records from a table named persons where the value of the column is Peter? Where first name is Peter? What's this is not? This is is not. This is, okay. How do you select all the records from a table? So these I'll say from persons, from table name, okay? Where the value of the first name starts with an A. First name, like is, uh, okay. Cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. The OR operator displays a record of any of the conditions listed are true. The AND is all. Yes. With SQL, how do you select all the records from a table named persons where the first name is Peter is and last name is Jackson? First name Peter, last name Jackson. All right. With SQL, how do you select all the records from a table named persons with a nice F of a between? Hands of between. Come on, guys. But SQL statement is used to return only different values. That's distinct. Which SQL keyword is used to sort the result set order by? Not sort by. It's kind of, you know, counterintuitive if you're used to Excel. With SQL, how can you return all the records from a table named person sorted by descending order by first name descending? With SQL, how can you insert a new record into the person insert? into person's values. This is the table I want to go into, and this is the row I want to add. SQL, how can you insert Olson as a last name? We want to, in this table, just the last name, add Olson. Ha ha. <laughs> how can you change, how can you change Hansen? into Nilsson in the last name. So we're gonna update, we're gonna set Hansen because that's what it is right now. Oh no, you change Hansen into Nilsson. Oh, into Nilsson, okay, so we have Nilsson now. Ah, we're gonna set it to this where Hansen already exists, okay. With SQL, how can you delete the records where the first name is Peter? Where first name is Peter delete from, yay. With SQL, how can you return the number of records in the person's table? Count all, y'all. So the most common type of join, inner join, always. Not always, but it's pretty common. Which operator is used to select values within a range between? The not null constraint enforces a column to not accept null values. True. Which operator is used to search for a specified pattern in a column like? SQL statement is used to create a table in the database. Create table. A table? A table. <laughs> yes, four minutes. Can you beat my time? Probably because I was reading <laughs> the questions to you. But go to the website. I'll put it in the description below and try it yourself. Thanks, guys. See you later.
but thanks for joining me here on Data Savvy TV. If this was valuable to you, be sure to hit the like button, consider subscribing, and share this with someone who would find this valuable as well. And I'll see you again next time. Bye.